There's no doubt that low back pain is one of our main health problems. Unfortunately, there's no consensus concerning the best way to diagnose and take care of this large group of patients. The neurological examination reveals myelopathy as well as radicular symptoms by means of reflex, sensibility and motor disturbances and neurogenic pain. Most structures in the lumbar spine has been accused as the source of low back pain. Acute pain must be separated from chronic pain. Coping strategies and psychosocial factors have been emphasized as the most important factors for long-term prognosis in work inhibiting pain. The value of spinal injections for diagnostics and treatment have been discussed for a long time. Spinal surgeons and radiologists are positive to its opportunities. Patients ask for further diagnostics of pain and dysfunction syndromes. Because it cannot be considered an evidence-based procedure, a scientific approach is necessary. This short presentation considers the most common application, injection of the disc. L3-4 disc, which is in the center of the top image, top of the image. This is the lateral extrapedicular approach for disc injection. The patient is rolled into an oblique prone position on the table. When placing needles in joint cavities, you can work fast and with accuracy using the two image intensifier biplanar 400E system. L3 end plates. Superior process is right in the middle. The needle is curved. The technique for disc puncture is straightforward and relies on visualization of the surrounding anatomy. The patient is rotated until the superior articular process of the vertebra below the disc to be punctured projects midway between the anterior and posterior margins of the superior end plate. Six inch 25 or 22 gauge spinal needle is inserted aiming slightly anterior to the superior articular process. Some lignocaine can be injected. The biplanar gives the operating doctor full control over manoeuvring the needle by switching from AP view to a lateral view. The tip should be guided to rest initially on the articular processes opposite the midpoint of the silhouette of the joint cavity. This ensures that the depth of the target joint is gauged. The needle is then further inserted, aiming toward the center of the target disc and its outer annulus fibrosis. Contact with the annulus fibrosis is characterized by the perception by the operator of firm resistance and by the patient of a momentary sharp aching sensation in the back or the buttock. Thereafter, the needle is advanced into the substance of the disc in its centre. When the tip of the needle has been properly placed in the centre of the nucleus You're pulposus, okay, contrast right medium is injected. The resistance to injection, the pain response and the lumbar discogram are evaluated. Once a painful disc has been identified and the discograms have been taken, 0.5 millilitres of bupivacaine is injected in an effort to obtain prolonged relief. It is generally considered that high concentration should be used in order to obtain the most effective anaesthetic effect. Pharmacological progress implies a potential possibility to inject active drugs. Kyphoplasty and vertebroplasty has been developed under recent years. For intra-articular injections, the symmetrical G-stand makes it easy to work. The biplane of 400E helps you to work with speed and accuracy.